I'm Carl Chapman. We are here at the Range View Cabin on day three of the Shenandoah Eco Venture, and uh, we're having a great time so far. I'm a religion major at Shenandoah University. Today, uh, we woke up real early in the morning, 5.45, not as early as yesterday, which was nice, and we got a kind of a late start. Uh, when we got to North Marshall Mountain, we all hopped up on the peak, and it was a beautiful scene. You could see the whole valley and the towns underneath, which it was interesting because Ty started talking to us and started lecturing to us. He started talking about how in this area, most everything when you're down in the towns feels like you're surrounded by suburbia and towns. And when you're up in the mountains, you see that most of it's really uh, forest and mountains and it's really pretty from up there. And we met Wendy Cass. Um, from the park services. She's a botanist here and she told us about different invasive species and uh, we learned about Japanese stilt grass. But this grass is a particular problem because it spreads very easily along roads and trails but then it also can creep into the interior of the forest and create these monocultures, these thick mats of only itself and then all the natives just can't survive. We walked through this beautiful oak forest with a lovely clearing in it and you could see all these great little forests and then we met with Bill McShay and he told us that that is a terrible thing. In the 1920s and 30s this was a world with no deer. There were essentially no white-tailed deer in this part of the world. When they made this park they went down to Arkansas and got deer down there and brought them back. These forests should actually have a lot more vegetation on the bottom of them, but because of the deer population, uh, the forests are not that great right now because nothing new is growing on the bottom of the forest. We have right now about a 40-year-old forest at the youngest. Nothing after the 1960s really grew in here because they transported deer into the area and they eat all the young seedlings. And then you notice that there aren't any seedlings of oak trees or any other kind of tree really popping up, popping its way up. And then we came on back to the cabin and we've started writing our journals for the evening and haven't really stopped since and we've just been socializing and writing the rest of the evening.